Bergman Show is an 18 plus show that is purely entertainment only. It's a made up person with a made up name that lives in a made up town. Therefore, it's not a threat or promote terrorism. So don't take him seriously. Frank Weasel! Hello, mercenaries. Welcome to the 38th episode of the Merkman Show. I'm your host, Mr. Bonkers. Alright. Mr. Bonkers ain't really feeling that well today, guys, so I'm gonna try to hurry this along the best I can. But, uh, let's get this started with... Mega Manga. And the news is that the fourth episode of Ruby Chibi is up on... It's up on YouTube, so that one's out, so you can watch that one. And I suppose episode 5 is out now on Rooster Teeth. But, and then no word on Intech, like I said. Um, but I'll definitely keep you mer mercenaries up to date on that. And that's it for the Mega Maga. Now we're going to move on to who's got the balls. And... Apparently there's not going to be really any balls, because uh, I'm only going to cover two top stories. One is, uh, they're, they're both tragic. Um, first bit announcement is, uh, Muhammad Ali has passed away due to his illness. He was fighting a losing battle uh, with his illness, and there's just no way of, of fighting that, so... Uh, he was... Let's see, he was, uh, 74 years old. And Muhammad Ali, you, you floated like a butterfly and then you did indeed sting like a bee. You were a badass. You were great. One of the best boxers. If, yeah, that's, I'd say the best, the best boxer ever to, to exist. And, um, I'm truly, truly honored that I got to see him alive in my lifetime. So, I'm not too sad about that. However, this one I am sad about. Um, MMA fighter Kimbo Slice has also passed away due to a heart attack. And Kimbo, he died kind of young. He was, um, he was 42 years old. So, <clears throat> but yeah, uh, people die in threes, mercenaries. Um, I'll probably make a follow-up video if that's the case. Um, I probably guess a wrestler might die next or something. That's that would be really really freaking ironic. Um, hopefully no one will won't die. I do not want that. Um, so, but yeah, I am sad for Muhammad Ali and Kimbo Slice. So guys, rest in peace. When you're alive, you kicked major major ass, and you will be missed. All right, moving on to that. It's time for. Dick of the week. And this dick of the week is specifically targeted to rage drivers. <clears throat> All right, are you in that much of a fucking hurry to get from point A to point B? If you're in a hurry, I don't know. Uh, it's called leave early. I mean, I get it. People value their beauty sleep. Anthony, he's always sleeping in the latest as he could, but he still gets up on time. He's smart about it. He knows that, you know, he takes about half an hour to get ready for work and then another half hour to drive to work. You know, just, just plan ahead, guys. And you're like, oh, but I don't get home till late and blah, blah, blah. I need my beauty sleep. Guys, come on. It's not that hard, all right? Come to go to bed as soon as you wake as soon as you come home. You know, if you're that if you need sleep that fucking badly. Just go home, clean up, eat dinner. Maybe if you're lucky watch an hour of television. And then go right to fucking bed. You need at least eight hours of sleep, mercenaries. Eight hours. But uh yeah. So don't be in a hurry, you know. Be courteous to other people. Watch where you're going. Don't cut people off. Don't be impatient. Always look both ways. Didn't your parents ever teach you to look both ways before you cross the street? My parents did. And look at me. You know, my parents gave me the best freaking safety tips. And look at me. I'm the best damn mercenary in this side of the United States. So safety's important. 
But yeah, um, you know, just follow the rules. I mean, poor Anthony, Thursday, he got into a, almost got into a wreck. Not once, not twice, but three times. And then, he thought it was just coincidence, but then he turned on the news and people in Nashville, there's like five or six wrecks in Nashville that one day. What the fuck? Alright? It's pretty bad when he has to call me from Lewisburg. Yeah, you know, do you know how expensive it is to call Butt Town? It sucks. Like, goes up to ass. Like, Butt Town goes up, you know, it's perfect because you got money coming out the wazoo and all that shit. But yeah, <clears throat> and most of all, put away your motherfucking phones when you drive for crying out loud. It, bring back phone booths, United States. Bring back fucking phone booths, man. We need those. People actually use that shit before all this cellular shit happened. Yeah, it's pointless. Yeah, it'll take up space, but, you know... I think it would take more people off the road. It's worth a shot. <clears throat> but, you know, it's like, go home or go to someplace else to talk about shit, all right? Wait till you're fully stopped. Get to your destination and then talk on your phone. It can wait, guys. Don't talk and don't text while driving. If you text while driving, I'm going to blow your fucking brains out. All right? And trust me, I've seen... What brains look like inside of a car. It's the exact recreation of Pulp Fiction. So. Don't text and drive. Always wear your seatbelt. And most of all, don't drink and drive. Because that would be just fucking stupid. Okay, sometimes it is hilarious. But most of the time, it's stupid. So. Congratulations, dicks, dicks of the week of, for, uh... Okay, never mind. See? Merkman is not drinking straight. Um... Remember, uh, the Rage Quitters, congratulations. You're this week's dick of the week for not paying attention to the fucking road and putting other people's lives in danger. Alright, so that'll do it for this week's dick of the week. Alright. Let's see, what else? Alright. Time for movie reviews. And this movie review is... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtle Power! <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, wow. Um, I liked it, Mercenaries. I'm not gonna lie, I actually liked Ninja Turtles. I did. And this is coming from a guy who hated the reboot. I did. I hated the last Ninja Turtles movie, the reboot. I hated it. But they finally got shit right. Kind of. They kind of fucked up Casey Jones. But I'm going to let that slide. I'm letting that slide. Because Bebop and Rocksteady was in it. Uh, Seamus was Rocksteady, which was, even, which was awesome. <coughs> Krang is in it. That I've been wanting the longest time to see Krang. Shredder, uh, Splinter. And the only reason thing they fucked up with Casey Jones is that he's a cop instead of a vigilante. That's fucking stupid. You know... Have him be a superhero like the classics, man. Come on. Uh, but that's my only complaint with the movie. The jokes were great. Uh, everyone did a fantastic job acting. Uh, Megan Fox looked hot as usual in a schoolgirl outfit. And, you know, th that definitely made me get a boner. It's, it's pretty crazy when you have a boner at a kid's movie. It is possible, Mercenaries. It is possible. And, um... But yeah, lots of action-packed uh, action. I didn't see it in 3D, so I don't know how the 3D was. Um, I guess it was cool. Um, great humor. The effects are amazing. This is way, way better than the first one. The first reboot. Now, is number two, Out of the Shadows, better than the classics? Fuck no. The classics, with the mascots and the costume, that kicks ass. Those are number one on my list. That's what the Merc... Merkman grew up watching. Nothing can ever beat that. So it's like how nobody... Well, actually, yeah. Uh, I was going to say nobody can beat Michael Keaton as Batman. Uh, but, you know, Ben Affleck actually did a kick-ass job. But, um... But anyways, you, you guys get my point. Um, kind of how I felt with Star Wars The Force Awakens. 
you know, I gave that a perfect, uh, what's the Mark Man around during that time? I don't know, I gotta do my research on that shit. But, anyways, what happens is that, um, you know, I watched Force Awakens. Was it better than the original? No, the original trilogy always holds a place here with the Merc Man and the heart. How that actually hurt. Anyways, that's, that's where it goes. And, um, and what else happens? Um, uh, okay. I'm tired, Martin Ace, forgive me. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. Brain farts. I, I got brain fart, like, I got a lot of gas today up in the head. Brain farts. Um, but anyways, yes. Um, the classics are always better. Now, was Force Awakens better than the classics? No, but was it better than the prequels? Yes. Definitely yes, you know, the... Now, I like the prequels. They don't suck. They really don't suck. I like them. I just don't like them as good as the classics. You know, whenever people are hitting on the Star Wars prequels, I just want to just fucking rip their nuts off and mail them to China. Be like, hey, Buddhist monks, I got some testicles to, to put on your altar and shit. You know, that's where your incense comes from. Pubic hair of monks. I've seen it. I fucking seen it. Anyways, uh, yeah. No, back to Ninja Turtles. Um, the battle cell was in it. I loved it. It did the classic uh, throwing manholes. I mean, it was fucking cool. Um, don't pay attention to Angry Joe. Yeah, he, he must have had a stick up his ass. Uh, but then again, he is critical. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion, mercenaries. He gave it a 3 out of 10. I don't do the 10 rating system, but he, he gave it a 3 out of 10. And at that point, I'll be, I'll be like, Angry Joe, what the fuck are you smoking? Because the Merc Man wants some. But yeah, he gave it a 3 out of 10. And I'm like, I actually kind of disagree with that. So, here's the Merc Man's review. Not 100% true with the origin. Because, you know, the... Casey Jones was a cop, not a mercenary, and, and April O'Neil, Steve, um, kind of wore, I, I want to say yellow, but kind of tan, but, you know, the effects were amazing, uh, I was laughing at a couple spots, I mean, it was good, Bebop and Rocksteady are in it, wow, so, final verdict for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, Ninja Turtles 2, Out of the Shadows, is a 3 out of 5. It's average. I'm going to consider it average. Um, is it better than X-Men Apocalypse? Yes. Uh, is it better than Captain America Civil War? No. Captain America Civil War is by far the best movie I've seen this summer. And next week I will do, uh, for this season finale, for the, uh, yeah, yeah, it's the season finale next week. Um. I'm going to do Now You See Me, number two. I'll give that review. Um, let's see what else. And that's, that's about it for that one. All right. So, final verdict, like I said. Three out of five. That means you either like it or you're going to hate it. Uh, so, it's up to you guys. If, you, if you're bored and you want to see a fun movie, Ninja Turtles. All right. For the final bit of news, we got a couple of things for you. Uh, let's see, what's, what did I write down here? Alright. The, the return of the sequels. We got three sequel things, but only two are truly confirmed. Beginning with... Remember this thing? This is called a Sega Dreamcast. It was Anthony's very, very first video game system. It's what to defined him as a gamer. It's what got where he got his kick-ass skills from. And it was Anthony's very first standalone system, but it was also Sega's last standalone system. They haven't made a new console, and like I said, in one of the videos over 20 years. So, but that accident. So Sega pretty much just moved on and started making games. You know, just plain old became a licensing game company instead of making consoles. 
But that might actually change mercenaries, because sure enough, a couple guys from from America made a Sega Dreamcast 2. They're called a Dreamcast 2. It's, actually, it's not Sega, because they, you know, they have nothing part of it. It's third party. But they called it Dreamcast 2, and they built a prototype, and supposedly they're going to sew it to Sega once it's completed. So... Fingers crossed on what possibly might be a Sega Dreamcast 2, and then that's when I move on. See, the Merc Man, he went on to Xbox because because of my love for the Sega Dreamcast. I don't know if you guys can see, but, you know, uh, you got A, B, X, and Y right there, a thumbstick, and a D-pad. Now let's look at the Xbox. The Xbox has an A, B, X, Y. Only two controllers, like the only two analog sticks. Let me, I'm sorry, I was zooming in, but yeah. A, B, X, Y. Dreamcast, A, B, X, Y. Xbox 360. A, B, X, Y. You, you guys get my point. The buttons are very, very similar to Sega Dreamcast. That's why I was. That's why I am completely loyal to Xbox. Because the Sega hasn't made a new system in years, so Xbox is the next best thing. Now for the other two sequels that are confirmed, and the trailers are out right now. You can watch them, and that is Watch Dogs Two and Injustice Two, and. For those of you who don't know what Watch Dogs is, you're basically a vigilante hacker and you must hack security cameras, uh, doors, um, lights, you know, anything electronic you got to hack. Um, it was really, really, really hyped up and then it, turned, then it turns out it was just an average game. People liked it, people hated it, so maybe if number two it'll improve. And then here's one sequel that people do like, or one game that did like, and that's Injustice. And any DC fan would know this game really well. It's where you play as Batman, Superman, uh, Harley Quinn, Green Lantern, it's just all those cool guys got together and just started going to one big clusterfuck of a fight. Because um, there was like an alternate universe where Superman's evil and Harley Quinn is the hero. You know, I mean, I haven't played that, but... You know, that's what it is. Um, Alright, I'm getting low on my battery, so I gotta wrap this up. That's another reason why this thing is quick, because I'm running low on battery power. But now this Injustice trailer finally has, Injustice 2 has Supergirl in it, which makes the Superman, which makes Merkman super happy, so I'm definitely gonna try to get this game, but yeah. Watch Dogs 2 and Injustice 2 confirmed. Uh... But Sega Dreamcast 2, still up in the air. Alright, mercenaries. Well, that'll do it for this week's episode of the Merc Man Show. I apologize that this is kind of a short one, but, you know, I'm not feeling well. Low on battery power, and just not a whole lot has happened. Alright, mercenaries. Well, yeah, uh, take care. Don't forget to subscribe to become an official mercenary. Get more content. Contact, uh, comment if you like. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. That rewards the Merc Man. It helps him out a bunch. And remember, don't take anyone's side. Pick a good contract. And I'll see you guys on the season finale of the Merc Man Show.